Well, hello there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. Today's project starts with me sketching something on the simple piece of cardboard. I do want to put together another assemblage and you can see I already pulled out bits and bobs. I went for all the very light materials, so a lot of plastic things. Uh, this is really more or less trash. There are some kids toys, there are a few things from the handyman drawer, but also a lot of packaging, this and that. Uh, so my sketch is pretty much done, just a simple outline of a gecko or a lizard and he will be my foundation. Next I cut him out, but my scissors didn't really do it, but my exacto knife did. And then of course I will start assembling everything. First of all I was looking for a head and I found this electric plug. It has a great uh, size, it opens, but to get those prongs out was really hard. So I had to go into the garage and use some brutal force and some larger tools. But here it is and it opens and closes and well it has a pretty decent shape and I will work on it some more. And now I start building up the body with some very simple items like these bottle caps. A lot of the bottom layers won't be visible at the end because I want this lizard to be uh, quite dimensional. Now whenever I do these assemblages it takes a while because I change my mind, I try out different bits and pieces and so the process is very long and also very hard to edit. So I tried my best to pull out the pieces where I was just looking for things and nothing was happening, uh, but the rest I just sped up. I think you get the main idea. Here I use actually my wood carving tool. It's very hard to melt down some of the plastic uh, because it's hard to cut it. Even my heavy duty pliers there won't do the job. Now it stinks a bit, but I have the window open so it's okay and I only use it a few times in this project. So from here on I think I will turn you over to some music. Like I said this will go fairly fast but I think you'll get the basic idea and I will be back as soon as there is something for me to chat about. Anything you need to know will be in the captions but I won't be able to name every piece I'm using here. Some of them really don't have a proper name or I just don't know it, but also it will go way too fast. But I hope you enjoy the process here and I will talk to you in just a wee bit.
is the way the little fella looks now. Uh, you saw me adding the different chains and different little round things on the tail. And then I covered everything with a top layer of jewelry pieces or little filigree pieces. That red thing is a toy. Things that are somewhat uh, see-through because of all the holes they have. That way the underneath texture doesn't get lost completely. Another toy piece is on top of his head. I also gave him a tongue, some cheeks, and of course he has his toes, which was another uh, funny kid's toy, probably from some kind of building set. And now he gets a coat of black spray paint. In the meantime, I am working on this background. Now, if you have been watching my videos, this may look familiar. I made another project on it with a box and a gargoyle, but then in hindsight, I just didn't like the combination. So I took those elements off. I repaired the background by adding a bit more paper, and now I want to color it to make it suitable for this project. Now, no worries, the box and the gargoyle are in good shape, and I I will use those for a different type of project. So I do want to add some color to the background to complement my lizard and for that I use Glimmer Mist in three different colors. Now because I added Mod Podge on top of the paper, it doesn't soak it up right away, which is nice because that way it has a chance to mix with each other. And if you leave it alone and let it dry, which takes a little while, uh, you get a nice effect. Here is my lizard, all spray painted, which really was the only option for this uh, project as there was no way for me to get to its inner parts with a paintbrush. Now to make his insides a bit more visible, I will add also some more glimmer mist. And I'm more out for the glimmer because the color won't show up that well on the black, uh, but the gold glimmer will uh, stay. So I added mostly to the body and a little bit on the tail as there are different containers that can use a little shine uh, in the inside. So a little bit more added with my brush wherever I can reach. And then after it's dry, I get rid of the glimmer that stayed on top by using some black gesso. Now I have an even black surface again and I can start coloring the lizard. And I start by using some white wax. It's the same stuff that comes in these little uh, containers, but this one came from a tube. And it just brings out the texture really nice. It takes away any shine that remained from the spray paint and just gives me a good starting point. So I think I'll let you watch a little more before I'm back with the final result.
So this was the last step I took to complete this project. I really like the way the color came out on the lizard and how it fits with the background. And now this dirty substrate was covered with some old German dictionary papers. And right underneath his bottom foot there is actually the word inspiration. That was completely by accident, but I think it's so cool. I like his head and that his mouth opens and closes and of course that he has so much dimension and an interesting uh, insight. Now because of his more delicate features like the tail and the toes and even the head that moves, he was best secured on a sturdy substrate rather than just having him be an independent sculpture. So I really hope that today's project was inspiring for you. And if you ever have something that you created and it doesn't look right to you, just take it apart and use the pieces for other projects. Thank you for watching. I see you soon. Bye bye for now.